G'day folks. The only thing I hate worse than making defective product is having my customer tell me that I've just delivered some to them. That's what happened in this case. That large diameter in the middle of that part should be 19.8 and it's grown. It's somehow become bigger. So in this video we have a look at what's going on and how I fixed it and reworked the parts. There you can see in this early program the turning tool is roughing that diameter and that diameter is then finished by this parting tool. I then made changes which upset that and I didn't pick what was going on. I changed the code to turn the 19.8 with the turning tool. Later to stop the parting tool chattering I upped the roughing diameters. This increased the 19.8 and I have reverted to finishing with the parting tool. Now on the rework the toolpath is shown in red. There I've got a stop in the spindle, it's just a, a Morse taper arbor with a stop on the end but the existing one was too small in both diameter and in length so I decided to make another one just needed about four or five millimeters added to it to give it the right length. That's a counterbore for a M6 cap screw. They're brilliant. Um, I've only got the one because they usually cost a fortune. Um, they may be cheaper these days. I've had this one a long time, but they just work well. I know you can make a flat bottom drill and do the same sort of thing, but they're just great. I faced off the part I made to make sure that the face was going to be absolutely square and there you can see the part is being held about where I want it and quite nicely. I was going to use it to a 35 degree insert for the back chamfer. This is the tool that I picked up to do the job and this is the mess that was on the insert. You see it's really not worth using. That's what a new insert looks like compared with the other one. Just have a quick look at the subroutine I wrote to turn this part down. That's all there is. Just repeats and goes back to that position there without homing. You can't see much of the cutting at this distance, but I'll zoom in in a second. You can just see I push the part right into that stop and then give it a bit of a jiggle to make sure it's nice and square. And they actually ran quite truly. I was pleased actually. I made 80 of them and uh, or I reworked 80 and they all ran pretty true as you can see there. That's the cutting action. Just put another one in and there we go again. There's the back chamfer being cut. So now I've gone back to finishing all diameters with the parting tool. I'll know that I can virtually measure any diameter and know that the rest of them are correct. Thank you for watching.